Now, here in Colorado, sadly, we have had more than our share of shootings on school campuses. And today we learned that three teenagers will be charged as adults for shooting three other teenagers at Hinkley High School parking lot in Aurora. Denver 7's Megan Lopez joins us live. And Megan, we're also learning more about what led up to this shooting. Yeah, that's right, Ann and Shannon. The arrest affidavit for those three teenagers are giving us a better idea of what happened in the moments right before and right after that shooting. The teenagers told police that they were looking for members of a local gang here at Hinkley High School when that shooting happened. Maybe it's the closed off campus or increased police presence. The signs of a shooting that injured three in this parking lot at Hinkley High School a little more than a week ago. Signs that things are certainly not back to normal. Not here or anywhere in Aurora really after a slew of youth violence recently. Now the arrest affidavits for the three teens involved in this shooting are giving us a better idea of what happened. It starts here in the parking lot of a nearby Wendy's. A group of teenagers from two rival groups that had a quote, longtime beef had agreed to meet up to fight. The students from Hinkley High School never showed up, so the teens drove to Walgreens and started showing one another their guns before heading to the high school to find those gang members. The teens told police afterward they were backing one another up with guns because, quote, it's the way it is in this town. They found the Hinkley teens in the school parking lot and got out of the truck they were driving. That's when witnesses say they heard the teens from the truck yelling things like, quote, you're all going to get it. Then the teens in the truck opened fire before getting back in and driving off, shooting as they went. This surveillance image shows a gun with an extended magazine that was being used. Two students were shot in the parking lot, a girl and a boy. An Aurora Public Schools officer seen in this surveillance image returned fire. We also know one of the teenagers in the truck was shot, but it's unclear by whom. The teens in the truck then went to this Vasa parking lot, split up, and tried to get rid of the bullets and guns. Three of them are now facing adult charges at this point. 16-year-olds Diego Flores and Dalen Brewer are both facing four counts of attempted first-degree murder, first and second degree assault, possession of a weapon on school grounds, and crime of violence charge enhancers. In addition to all of those, 16-year-old Larry Renee Jefferson is also charged with using a prohibited large capacity magazine during a crime. Those large capacity or extended capacity magazines have been illegal since the legislature passed a law in 2013 banning them. Two of the teenagers involved in this shooting will have a hearing in mid-December. The third one will have a hearing in March. And of course, the district attorney's office is still asking for anyone with any information on this shooting to come forward. They're asking you to call Crime Stoppers. I'm live in Aurora, Megan Lopez, Denver 7.